Quite the last. Who is it? You know, what's his name? The writer? What writer? You know who I mean. Married that Southern Belle that was supposed to be the original Blackburn. Remember, they were such a beautiful couple. Pictures in magazines and papers. They used to do wild things like ride around on the top of taxis and jump into public fountains. Oh, I know the one. I've seen his stories in the Saturday Evening Post. He seems to write a lot about himself and his wife. That him? Oh, Arthur. What's the name of that writer that was carrying on in the observation lounge last night? They say that when a highbrow meets a lowbrow walking along Broadway, soon the highbrow, he has no brow. Ain't it a shame? And you're to blame. What's the use of prohibition? You produce the same condition. Crazy rhythm, I've gone crazy too. your tablecloth. Not to worry, sir. No harm done. What about your sleeve? I'm all right. Shall I take a damp cloth to it, sir? No, no, I'm fine. Fuss, Cyril. Don't fuss. Anything more I can bring you, sir? What about you, madam? More coffee? We'll be out of your way as soon as the wine is gone. We're not keeping you, are we, Cyril? Not at all, sir. Beg pardon, sir, but the name is Sydney, actually. Sydney? Sorry, not Cyril. Sydney. Thank you, sir. Do you know who I am, Sydney? Why, yes, sir. You're Mr. Fitzgerald, sir. I'm F. Scott Fitzgerald. Yes, sir. The name is not unknown, even in your country. I expect you've heard of the great Gatsby. The great... Uh, Gatsby? Yes, I believe I have, sir. Something to do with munitions, hasn't he? The great Gatsby is a book. A book, sir? The London Times adored it. The Manchester Guardian said its author was the most gifted and promising of all the young American novelists. Books and Bookman called it a huge advance over Mr. Fitzgerald's previous success, this side of paradise. Dear God. My wife has found her tongue. Yes, dear? Is it? Let's go. Very well. Shut up. You seem to be the last. I apologize. Please don't think badly of us. Uh, that's not necessary, sir. Not to you, perhaps. Think of it as answering my need rather than yours. Well, uh, thanks very much. Very generous. Not generous. Selfish. Selfish, sir? Selfish. See you tomorrow. Good night, sir. Madam? Good night, Cyril.
Uh, how are you? I'm fine, fine. How are you? <laughs> I missed you. Zelda! Ah, Zelda. Who like a Nicene bark of yore. Beautiful as ever. <laughs> what a gallant liar you are, John. Now, who is this mysterious lady in the Paris hat? This lady, sir, is my daughter. The renowned world traveler and champion croquet player. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Bonjour, monsieur. I hope you had a pleasant trip. Oui, j'ai fait un bon voyage, merci. You can speak English now, darling. We're home. Governess and a chauffeur. Now that's what I call slang. Philippe was a professional boxer before he took to the wheel. He's a good man to know. I got into a couple of pretty rough scrapes this summer. Where? Bars, where the hell do you think? I had the honor of being incarcerated on two separate occasions. Well, how was the trip otherwise? There was no otherwise. It was all booze and general unpleasantness. You and Zelda? Zelda has turned quiet. Did what? Quiet. Did you notice? I noticed something. We quarreled in Paris. Lord, how we quarreled. Unbelievable, the things we said to each other. Very ugly. She's been quiet ever since. Sometimes she doesn't speak for hours. Was it another woman? No. Did she? No, that's not the problem. Even when we say it is. It's never other people, it's us. Something about the way we are. Each man kills the thing he loves. <laughs> Don't quote Oscar Wilde to me, I've got a hangover. Can't you dredge up something appropriate from Ella Wheeler Wilcox or Edgar Guest? There were days when they hurt each other purposely, taking almost a delight in the thrust. What's that? A beautiful and damned Debbie Scott Fitzgerald. You worked on this summer? A few short stories, nothing I'm proud of. Well, what about the new novel? I put my soul in hock if I could get six months free and clear to finish it. Well, as soon as you're settled in here, as soon as I get settled in here, I'll have to grind out another story to pay for this trip. I haven't even got an idea, let alone characters or a plot. I'm dry at the moment. Uh, you can tell me it's none of my business, but you and Zelda could cut down a bit on the high life, couldn't you? It's none of your business. You don't have to spend every penny you earn. We're way past that stage. We've already spent money I may never earn. I'm probably a year's income in debt already just to my agent and my publisher. How's the law racket? The law racket? That's a little slow right now. What's the matter with us, Biggs? Ten years ago, we thought we'd be millionaires by the start. These are the boom years. Why aren't we booming? All right. We're alive. We have that distinction, yes. Tom Griffin is dead. Did you know? No. Huh? He killed himself and his wife. Why? You tell me. <laughs> 